Sometimes a person's work speaks so much that they hardly need any introduction beyond that. But in some unfortunate cases, a person is so highly sought after that people often start taking their immense body of work for granted. This according to me has been the case with Kumar Sanu, who at one point of time was the go-to singer for almost every song to come out of Hindi cinema. Let's take a look at the extraordinary life of this extraordinary singer and find out for yourself whether he gets the credit that he deserves. Kumar Sanu was born Kedarnath Bhattacharya on 23rd September 1957 in Kolkata. He adopted his childhood nickname Chanu as his stage name when he started working for Bollywood. And there's a very interesting story behind that also. Did you know that his father, Mr. Pashupati Bhattacharya, was a vocalist and composer? He trained him as a singer and a tabla player. After completing his studies, he began performing publicly in 1979 and became musically active in 1984. He was singing at shows and restaurants around Kolkata. Anybody could make out that his singing style was modelled after the great Kishore Kumar, which later on he developed into his own unique singing style. After seven years of struggle, in 1987, the legend Jagjit Singh got him the chance to sing in the 1990 film Andhya. He then relocated to Mumbai where he got opportunities to sing with the popular duo Kalyanji Anandji. In fact, they were the ones who suggested that he change his name because of the prevalent caste or region-based favoritism in Bollywood at that time and also to give him wider appeal outside of a strictly Bengali audience. But his biggest breakthrough came in 1990 with the songs of the iconic film Ashiki. The popular music director duo Nadeem Shravan got Sanu to sing all but one of the songs and he gained overnight success. I distinctly remember how most of my auto rides as a kid were always accompanied with the music of Nadeem Shravan and the vocals of Kumar Sanu. Songs like Saso Ki Zarurat Hai Jaise, Tu Meri Zindagi Hai, Nazar Ke Saamne, Jane Jigar Jane Man, Ab Tere Bin Jee Lenge Hum and Dheere Dheere Se Meri Zindagi Me Aana all became instant chart busters and people still crave for that album even today. He won his first of the record five consecutive Filmfare awards as best male playback singer for Ashiki. He later on went on to win awards for songs from Sajan, Divana, Bazigar and 1942 A Love Story. Sanu became a favorite with Nadeem Shravan. Together they rendered many hit songs like Tumhe Apna Banane Ki Kasam Khai Hai from Sadak, Sochenge Tumhe Pyaar from Divana, Jiye To Jiye Kaise from Sajan, Do Dil Mil Rahe Hai from Pardes and many others. His frequency of singing songs in Hindi cinema was so much that most people who grew up in the 90s like me would only know two male playback singers, Kumar Sanu and Udit Narayan. In between both of them, they sung most of the songs during 90s. While Udit Narayan was a chosen voice for certain actors, Kumar Sanu was consistently featured in albums irrespective of who the actor was. He ended up working with some of the best singers and musicians that Bollywood has seen and sang not just commercially successful but timeless classics. Some of my personal favorite Kumar Sanu songs are Ek Kaash Ke Hum from the brilliant Kabhi Haan Kabhi Na, Hum Yaha Tum Yaha from Zakham, Tu Mile Dil Khile which was a remake of a Telugu song from the movie Criminal and I recently did a short guitar cover of the same, Jab Koi Baat Bigad Jai, Tere Dar Par Sanam and a non-film song, Tera Mera Pyar. Do share your favorite Kumar Sanu songs through the comments with me. I would love to know about them and also in case if I missed out on any classics. He eventually went on to sing over 18,000 songs in 22 languages during his illustrious singing career. He even broke the Guinness World Record for the most songs recorded in a single day by recording an unbelievable 28 songs. He also happens to hold the record for the longest string of consecutive Filmfare Awards for Best Playback Singer. But strangely, he's yet to win a national award, even as other female singers won it for songs that they sung as duets with him. He did go on to be awarded a Padma Shri by the Government of India much later. So what happened that he suddenly stopped lending his voice for Hindi cinema and sung sparingly after early 2000s? Many people are not aware that he was diagnosed with throat cancer and had to make his playback singing choices limited after that. He chose to focus more on live performances and even ventured into acting in Bengali films. 
In the fast moving world of Hindi music there was a sudden opening of the doors for outstanding playback singing talent because of Sanu's departure. But did you know that while he's rarely been in the limelight for the last 20 years he's been doing a lot of philanthropic work for underprivileged kids. Despite the up and down graph of his singing career many people have and are still living through the immensely popular songs that he's contributed to. He may not get much work in playback singing anymore but I'm glad that the present generation will get an opportunity to touch upon his greatness through the 14th season of Indian Idol. Due to the musical trends that Bollywood usually falls prey to he may not have got opportunities to showcase his singing skills. But no one can deny that his voice has made an unforgettable impact on audiences minds so much that even movie subplots and characters have been written on the obsession of Kumar Sanu fans. So that was a short tribute to one of the most underrated talents of Indian music. What are your thoughts about Kumar Sanu and his songs? Share with me through the comments. Subscribe to the channel and turn on your notifications for more such stories about your favorite music and musicians. You can connect with me on Facebook and Instagram the handle is at @songsguitarmusic and get yourself a dose of nostalgia through your favorite Kumar Sanu songs until we meet in the next video